Hey there guys, my name is Eddie Wang, welcome to another gym video. Today we're going to learn how to minimize the the Oki game uh, randomness, like Jin, as some of you know, Jin doesn't have a guaranteed healing move that it doesn't matter if the opponent is trying to stand up or is on the ground or is idling on the ground like an immovable object uh, waking up backwards or rolling in, in these situations uh, it doesn't have a move that whenever the situation the opponent is on the floor uh, this move is guaranteed it doesn't have that uh, like Mishima's like uh, uh, Devil Jin and Kazuya have back four uh, Azuka has forward two and pretty sure that some of the characters out there have ways to hit people in the ground like guaranteed uh, without giving them a chance to escape we only have like a, a, down, f a down two which is in that guaranteed arrow uh, in, in many cases and there are situations where where uh, uh, where you you do the down two and the opponent stands and then crush and he blocks it and then you are at minus 13 yep this thing this thing happens and this thing exists so we're going to learn how to minimize all this today uh, let's start by hitting the move that I was hitting earlier uh, down back three. Uh, this move make no mistake this move isn't isn't really great but uh, the point of it is is not the move being great is that whenever Jin is on puts characters on this side of the screen like on the foreground is the CD one tracks to this side so whenever you do if they try to move uh, ECD1 is going to be guaranteed like all the time if if they try any type of wake up uh, on, on going to this side so the opponent cannot go cannot go to that side uh, he, he cannot even roll to which side I'm going to show you real quick so if the opponent tries to roll uh, it's going to get hit anyway and so the, the only way to to really escape this stuff is just by remaining still uh, so they have to remain still uh, because no doesn't matter how easy the one is going to hit or launch depending of the type of your wake up so if they stay grounded uh, uh, this doesn't actually work so you are you still you, you still you still put on a force it yes uh, by, by any means uh, yeah but there is other things like uh, this is important to know because whenever you put the opponent on this side you know exactly what to do uh, you can even wait a little bit and then ACD1 or fake with a dash or something but uh, there is other things like uh, the old cherry berry mango forward for setup uh, this one right here it used it to be guaranteed before but it doesn't work anymore and the opponent can just uh, roll to the sides and wake up or even wake up backwards in order to avoid it uh, because for for it's not going to hit people or wake up backwards anymore for 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 real for real reasons uh, so how do you make this less random if you hit this combo from a pin uh, this is guaranteed uh, the opponent cannot roll to each side if you do a down f a down two after a down four for pin uh, they cannot roll to each side because uh, this is going to be guaranteed regardless
as you guys can see so they cannot roll to which side and they are forced to abandon the side roll and start like uh, waking up backwards right because waking up backwards avoids the down two and the four four altogether yeah avoid both like right together so they this is like the best option in order to to avoid the guaranteed hits of the stuff but there is still ways to make some some nasty outcomes out of it so i'm going to start by showing you a guaranteed no matter when no matter how they how they try to wake up uh, this is guaranteed uh, they cannot go to side they cannot wake up backwards this is always going to hit but the damage is really scaled and it's only 70 damage uh, at, at best uh, with the down force so it's 60 plus 10 so it's 70 damage at best that you get out of this which is like the beyond average damage the Jin gets from a $100 combo uh, this is also important to notice that you can only go for the pin uh, if you are facing an op uh, like fighting people on uh, like this stage which is wide, the wide open and doesn't have walls and you are not familiar like with this combo right here uh, this combo is equally 70 damage so uh, there is really no point in on doing this which is pretty much the same thing uh, and it's, it's kind of hard to 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 get like uh, a damage beyond the 71 uh, from this and yeah so so that you guys can know but how do you make some of the stuff nasty as you guys can see not every opponent is going to be able to guard all they have to pick a stun either they cross guard or they stun guard let's say they cross guard and you hit them with this and if you place your pin like really well uh your four four three is going to hit them uh, at max range and it's almost uh really hard to fuzzy guard it because you can mix this with uh you can mix this with a with a, a down a down two and, and despite they're waking up backwards they are still going to get hit by it uh yeah they're still going to get hit by it uh so this is the mix up and you can also in, in some instance you can even uh use ecd1 also works ecd1 is a good addition to this but just remember that ecd1 is not safe uh, although it's a launcher it's not safe at all so you can still you, you can still use it uh, on this same setup but uh, if your opponent stand guards then you are at minus 13 despite the range and chances are that uh, your opponent will, will hit you whenever with a 10 frame moves so i prefer sticking to 443 uh, because the range is a lot uh, it's kind of hard to to retaliate and it becomes actually more plus than than already is in, in most cases uh, so this is the video from today i uh, hope you guys enjoy it just knowing that this setup works from like every pin from jin uh, so the opponent cannot roll back roll, roll into sides uh, whenever you hit the pin because 
uh, the downfall is always going to be guaranteed uh, as long as you place yourself at least closer enough to hit it like this uh, the opponent cannot side cannot side roll to which side if they are hit by this on any given combo they cannot escape it by side rolling they need to to wake up backwards in order to avoid it and waking up backwards is what we want more as gym players because then this becomes really ambiguous and hard to avoid so i hope you guys learned something see you guys in the next video